Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Uh, in the last episode, we did the Melly Melly Meadow. Uh, we got a bunch of encounters, and now we are going back to school. I'm going to grab these items. Uh, we're going to battle the Kahuna, I believe. I believe that's what we're doing today. Not 1000% sure about that, but pretty confident. Um, ooh, Adino, you can give me good experience. You're only normal type right now, right? That's gonna do nothing. Adino's so bulky. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it. I want the experience. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode we got a bunch of encounters. I think after we do the Kahuna battle today, we can get a couple more. Once we get the Tauros ride. So maybe we'll do those today? Maybe? Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The team is definitely coming together with my Primal Groudon. Uh, Meloetta and Dragonite. I'm definitely... You lived that? That's crazy. Definitely definitely liking the team, to say the least. Uh, it's not, like, perfect at all. I don't have, like, an Ice Resist. I'm pretty weak with a couple Mons. And everything else is neutral or, you know, no Resist. I like Resists. I like having well-rounded squads. Choice Band. Oh, I should check the, uh... The TMs. I think someone mentioned that too in the last episode. See if I could teach like Oblivion Wing to Dragonite, which could be okay. Akamo. Oh, such a good Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need to look to see who can learn what. I don't think I've really checked since I've gotten the new mods on the squad. Okay. To the bag. Glaciate and Oblivion Wing can both be learned by Forest. Um, let's get rid of Rap. Glaciate can go on Groudon as well. Which I'm going to do. Because why not? He is, his moveset's terrible. And then Oblivion Wing on you over Leer. We're running a special... A special, uh... Dragonite. Gotta love it. Hey, Stab Oblivion Wing is amazing. Cannot go wrong. Can not go wrong. Okay. Look at the cute little rock rough. So cute. Uh, but yeah, I believe we just go up here in Balakoon. I don't remember if there's anything else in between. I don't think so. He's going to have the Z move, which I forget how the randomizer works with the Z moves. Um, I remember that they have them. I just don't remember if it randomizes which one they have. Um, So I might get... Clippity clapped with the Z move. I don't remember them like really ever doing something crazy to me. I feel like the randomizer, if not made them worse with it, but I'm sure it's gonna randomize in a way that's gonna ruin my day at some point. One of these times. One of these times. Mm -mm -mm. Grand trial. Let's get it. Did I? Am I healed? I didn't really take any damage, I don't think. I don't think I did. I Dragon. Oh god. Slow start high dragon with 18. Level 18. I'm going to go for the Glacier because you might outspeed me after slow start. Slow start's probably going to... Ooh, that did nothing. Focus energy. I'm scared. Um, I'm going to hope that super effective Twister is going to do some good damage. I might die right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't remember Hydreigon having focus energy. Interesting. You resist everything I can do with you. I don't have leftovers on you anymore. 
You also can't do anything to him. You can't do anything to him. Wait, you have Pixelate, don't you? I'm gonna have to sack a Pokemon. I'm gonna have to sack a Pokemon. You know what? For the content. For the content. I don't think there was a way I got out of this without doing that. You have Pixelate, right? You do. I, I mean, there's not really anything I can do because he's paralyzing everything with Dragon Breath. But. If I... How is he living? He has to have filter or something. Has to. Has to. There's no way you live. He's four times weak to fairy. This is a Meloetta. I don't know how your special attack is, but still. Mankey. Oh my god. We're in shambles. This is bad. I did sack the ground on. I know. I know. I feel like for the for the sake of the run, if anything was to die on the team, I feel like everybody is probably happier with me not having a pseudo ridiculous absurd legend on the team. Pursuit, I think I lose. Why is everything taking no damage? How much is this doing? 38 to 22, okay. Doing 16. Outside of a crit, I live. God, I need to heal up. <sighs> this is not going well. This is not how I want to start my night. It's a little late in the night. I got a headache. Golf today, so I'm really fresh watered. It only does 30 HP. Why did I think it... Did they change it? Fresh water used to be more. It used to be 50, I think. I think they must have lowered it. They had to have. I hate that you have Pursuit. It's making this really annoying. Um, I have like no heals left. I only have regular potions, which aren't going to do anything. I don't remember if he heals up. If he does, I'm in shambles. Okay, he doesn't. I need to put that experience back on. I am underleveled. This got out of, this got out of, got out of control very quickly. Superior. I'm going FAFSA? You shouldn't be able to do much to me. You shouldn't be able to do anything to me, honestly. Bloom Doom. That would have killed me. That would have killed my other guy for sure. That's going to do nothing to me. <laughs> Beautiful. Not beautiful. Not beautiful. I need to. I need to just. I don't have leftovers on you. I need to get strong though. Special attack rose. Evasiveness fell. That's great. You're doing no damage to me. So I'm gonna set up with Fafsa, and I think I'm gonna have to try sweeping with you. I'm plus two attack. Accuracy rose. Defense fell. I attack now. I'm uh, going for fan attack. I don't have to worry about your evasiveness because fan attack doesn't miss. Okay. Speed rose. Special attack fell. It's okay. I'm going to keep attacking while his defense is down. Perfect. Crit. Okay. All right. I'm terrified right now, guys. This is bad. I really hope that the last couple Pokemon you have are all water types that can't touch FAFSA. And I could just Mega Drain and take all your HP. Galvantula, that's the opposite of what I want to see. Um, um, I'm going to just Fain Attack. Bug Bite, that's going to tickle. Oh, and he stole my berry. How dare you? Magician stole my berry right back. <laughs> oh, actually, I stole his berry. The Wiki Berry I stole. 
Uh, I'm going to Mega Dragon because Fan Attack's not going to kill you. 30 down to 12. And then you stole the Wiki Berry right back. Gets confused, though. Mega Drain's not doing enough. He did 18 damage with Bug Bite. Why are you so strong? All right, we got to go Avocado. I have to switch. Avocado, sorry. I need you to hit yourself confusion, buddy. Please, for the love of God, full healed. Come on. Dodge the Screech. Beautiful. Only two hits. Come on. I'm going to Oblivion Wing. Okay. This is bad. Curly. Okay, this is not bad. This is fine. Um, if this is what you're sending out against me, I'm I'm assuming I'm in like pretty good shape. You have magical leaf though. But I think I'm okay. Can you give me a four hit or something like that, please? Teleport failed. I thought teleport was changed in Gen 7. Must have been Gen 8 that they did that. The teleport change. Shuckle. Oh, I love it. I love it. Encore me into Rock Blast. You're faster than me. That's pathetic. Unless it's Prankster. It could be Prankster. Could be. Safeguard. Couldn't. I still won't know. That's another Prankster possible move. But there's no way Shuckle's faster than even this Pokemon. No, he's faster. Struggle Bug. Wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. I thought Shuckle's speed was like 10. I did not think it would ever be faster. All right. We made it out. Not Deathless. First death of the playthrough, and it's the strongest Pokemon we could have possibly gotten. But like I said, I think for the content, having a Primal Groudon can make this a little... A uh, little, uh, little too easy, to say the least. So sacking something else before going into Meloetta would have been like, you know, the smarter play, technically. You know, I knew something had to die in that situation. There was zero chance something didn't die. Um, if I didn't have the Meloetta there, I think I would have lost completely. Um, but that has, I believe that has to be Solid Rock or Filter Hydreigon, which is terrifying. That is insane. All right. And now the Tauros is going to show up, right? Yep. And then I'll be able to ride it. My boy. I'm like tempted to look up Hydreigon. I have the file saved in case I need to look up any information. And I'm like really tempted to see if the Hydreigon is filter. I don't think there's any way it takes that little from a four times effective move. It was taking like nothing from the damage from a Dragonite too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Let's... Lilo help from Tauros. We gotta smash right through those big rocks in Route 1. Yep, yep, yep. And the TM for Vice Grip. Gross. Gross. Mm, mm, mm. Little photo club, special photos. No thanks. I don't want to do that. Let me go. Alright, I guess Hippo's coming back on the team. He's the one I swapped out for the Groudon, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Boo -doo. Boo. How do you do the? There we go. Um, I'm not even gonna go down that way. Actually, it's this way, right? Oh, I guess I messed it up. All right, I'm gonna go heal up, and I'm gonna swap out the Groudon. Oh, that's so sad. I can't believe that Hydreigon just did so much work against me. I think it had to. Have, I'm, I'm looking it up. It's, it's going to bug me. 
Hydragon. I had slow start. Guys, if you guys have been yelling at me the entire time because I know it had slow start. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It literally showed it had slow start. How did it take so little damage? I don't understand. I don't understand how it took no damage. I don't understand. I'm so stupid. It literally says this is why you don't stream without coffee. That's why you don't record without coffee because your brain just doesn't work as well as you think it should. But holy crap, man, that was, I mean, only 32 special attack and 36 special attack. But still, man, pixelate four times effective. I just can't believe how little that did. Close my mind. All right, ground on. First casualty. I'm so, I cannot believe how stupid I am. I knew it had slow start the entire time. I was already talking about it. <sighs> well, another day in the life of Breezy. All right, Surge, Surfer, Hippo, get on the squad. Um, I'm going to put the experience share back on for a little bit because we definitely. Uh, definitely need it. So my physical attack is much better with peaches. So let's put a physical attack like that on there. Uh, but yeah, I got to get caught up on levels with some of my guys. So let's put that back on for a little bit. And we're going to do some encounters. Let me swap out. Do for hip out on. And this isn't the way I'm supposed to go right now, but it's the way I'm going to go. So I know that there's an encounter over here. Mm -mm. Not this one. Behind the rocks. Nido King. Oh, I love Nido King so much. Such a good Pokemon. Such a good boy. Run away, run away. I didn't really, I really did not think that Kahuna battle. I seemed like I was over leveled for everything already. So I thought I was going to be way over leveled for the Kahuna battle. Okay, so this is. 10 carat hill. Let's get some encounters. I think there's actually two encounters I can get here. I think it brings you to another area. All right, let's see what we get. Let me get the nicknames pulled up as well. Whalmer. I already know whose nickname I have to take for this. If you left the nickname, you might not have. Did he leave a nickname? He did not. Wow. I know what I'm going to name it, though. I feel like I might have used one of Pi's nicknames already. But I'm using one again. Um, first of all, let's Thunder Wave. I'm going to name it Sidecar. Because I feel like it looks like a sidecar. <laughs> I feel like it's very fitting. Honestly, a water type wouldn't be bad. It's such a high level evolution, which is annoying. But Whalemer wouldn't be a terrible mod to have on the team. Could give me the ice resist that I could that I desperately need. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Don't know exactly yet. Mm -mm. Also, I want to go back to the. Uh, I might do that in between episodes. I want to get the TM. Excuse me. Uh, that was in the uh, totem site. All right, sidecar. As a little joke, because everyone says I'm going to get into a side, a little sidecar uh, that my, on my wife's motorcycle, which will not be happening. Because motorcycles are very dangerous, and I am not a fan of them. Okay, Destiny Knot. I need to get repels. It's about time. It's about time I get repels. Aw, Farfetch looks so good in this game. Such a well-done design in this game. Look at it. It looks so... So innocent. It takes his little leak and smacks you with it. Never thought a leak could be so dangerous. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we go up here. I think this is a new area. The farthest hollow is a new area. I like all those items in here. Chalonberry. 
and luminous mouse. No encounter. This is where you get an ultra beast at some point, I believe. Uh, in like the I don't know if it's post game or not, but all right, new encounter, farthest hollow. A Yan Mega. Not bad. I like Yan Mega. Good Pokemon. Um. T wave, you dodge, and now you're gonna double team. This is fun. This is fun. We're having a good time. I'm gonna twist her. Just do some damage. My special attack's terrible. Perfect. That was a crit. Mm, I think I got Ultra Balls. Did I not? I kind of feel like I did. I'm naming this Chester. Chester seems like a fitting name for this. Chester always reminds me of uh, Don't Starve. If anybody played Don't Starve. Chester is a, like, pet chest that follows you around. It's a little pumpkin. He's like a dog. He's adorable. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of it, so it fits. Chester the Yan Mega. Oh, I do not want to add you to the party. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Um... Another item. Okay. Yeah, I think I might go grab like the TM and stuff. Um in between episodes or something like that. If I remember, I'll probably forget. But getting the TMs could be really good. Ooh, chestnut could be good. This could have been a good Pokemon. But I like Yanmeg. I'm always down for some different Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I need repels. I need repels. Whismur. Mm -mm -mm. I check if I have any repels. I might just have some from when I picked. I might just randomly picked one up. I think there's a TM up here, though. Yep. Technoblast. That's a Genesex move, right? The moves type. Depends on the drive the user holds. I can teach that to Miss Magius, and I can look to see if I have any drives. I'll give her a spite. If I have a drive, that could be really good. I'm almost positive that works, too. Plates. All right, first leftovers, give that to you. No drives. Dang, that's not good. That kind of stinks. Anything up here? Nope. All right, so I get to look in the stores for the drives. That's a really, really good move, though. That's a really great TM to have, um, just for the sake of getting new encounters. Not new encounters, uh, just new coverage and stuff that I wouldn't normally have. Um, and then over here, is this another area? Oh, this is just the Z move. This is a flying Z move. Fly in EMZ. I'm probably not going to use these Z moves, to be honest. I never did in these playthroughs, and I probably am not going to start now. Oh, you're a golfer? Me too. Professional golfer Breezy. I golfed a, I golfed 18 today on a par 69 course. Giggity. Um, but it's not a par 70. I think 72 is what like most standard golf courses are. Oh, I hate this Pokemon. Uh, but this one was a 69. It's, there's only two par fives, mostly it's par fours, a couple par threes. Um, and I golfed a 106 today, which is the best I've ever done. I was actually felt like I was doing like consistently good. It was it was weird. I'm very new to golf. I only started this year, so I've only I think it was my sixth time I've ever gone. <laughs> Another ground run in here. Nice, nice. Just rub it in. Just rub it in. Yep. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. Me and my wife went today. Just the two of us. We walked it. 18. It was definitely pretty exhausting by the end of it. You know, definitely pretty pooped. Um, but granted, it wasn't really like the hardest course to walk. It was uh, it does not. It's not a huge course. Like I said, it was only two par five. So, you know, it's pretty short. Um. Uh, 
holes. Holes the word for it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it was a good time. Had a really good time. It's one of those things. It's like I always compare it to bowling. I love bowling. And I love like that type of thing where it's like it's just you against you. And you can just work on improving, you know, a little bit. You know, whenever you, as much work as you put in is how much, you know, successes you'll see. Pretty much. So I like it. And I've been having fun with it. And bowling is starting up soon. So I'm going to start doing that and doing less golf because my bowling season is right around the corner. And I want to get into that. But on that note, we're going to wrap it up. here. Thank you guys for coming through. Leave likes, comments, nicknames. Because I'll be getting more encounters in the next episode for sure. Um. Yeah. RIP Groudon. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>